game we have in store for you today the hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension palpable stay tuned we'll have all the action for you live on ea tv hello great to have you with us we're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this world cup we're at the quarter-final stage my name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here in the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's England versus France. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. John Stone starts alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And the contest begins. Harry Kane. Phil Foden now. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Giroud. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Kane! Oh, fine stop. Over it comes. Didn't quite go to plan. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And still danger here. Threat over for now, it seems. Griezmann. Griezmann and here's Dembele can he get them in front well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable Griezmann tasked with taking the corner and the problem not completely solved. Mbappe. Now Griezmann. Giroud. And the referee 
says penalty. Can he make it 1-0? And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, here's the replay, and it takes a lot of courage to hit a penalty like that. The goalkeeper just moves out the way, and it goes down the middle. It's an excellent execution, but always risky. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Antoine Griezmann. Teammates available. Henderson. Nicely timed tackle. Aurelien Chouameni. Harry Kane takes the shot. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now, and surely the goal will come. Griezmann. Tempere. Rabio. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, as you can see, this is a great pass from Dembele, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Number 14. Adrian Rabio. Henderson. Saka. And the emphasis is on creativity. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Good effort here. Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. Pretty simple for the keeper. Declan Rice. Now with Bellingham. It should be. And that is defending of the highest order. And strong play here.
And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Into the second half then. Will it be more of the same from France? They were breathtaking in the first 45, you've got to say. Are they capable of matching that in the second half? Dembele. Now Griezmann. Might it be Olivier Giroud? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. They favoured a short one here. Determined defending. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? And the red card has been shown, and that puts a bit of a stain on things. Well, they're in a great position, but that could change everything. It's a thoughtless challenge. Time for a change, then. Declan Rice. Well, not hard to read that pass. And perhaps Griezmann! And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Saka. Promising move this from England. Oh, a fine block. Rabio. Thirty minutes to go then. Alexander Arnold. Foden. Foden. High quality defending. Teo Hernandez. Hernandez. Now Rabio. Textbook defending inside the box. Can they hit on the break? Giroud. Rabio. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Rabio. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Foden. Opportunity. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And short it is. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. John Stones. Superb block. Chance to reduce the arrears. He's got to score! Well, getting in the way, superb save. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Just ten minutes to go. 
Coman. Played into the centre. Just the clearance that was needed. Declan Rice. Walker. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Aurelien Chouameni. Theo Hernandez now. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Mount. And the referee's whistle. France will be in the semi-finals. Yes, and thoroughly deserved, you have to say. Thought they controlled large parts of the game. They created enough chances. And if they can continue to replicate performances like this, they have to fancy their chances going forward. So an enjoyable night for Antoine Griezmann. What did you make of what he did on the pitch? Well, he took his penalty with great confidence. And I thought his general play was really good. He was really sharp today. 